Oh, look what came in the mail. It's my new windshield. Are they good people at Chrome World? And it's the, uh, the SS20 windshield. I'm going to install it to my 2010 Shadow RS. Let's take a look. Okay, there it is. Uh, freshly out of the box here. Comes with this little mounting kit here. All sorts of rubbish in there. Fork tubes, and I guess these go around the bars. My guess. And uh, that's the detailing of it there. Got dark blue, silver, and white silvery sort. This is probably gonna get. These are just stickers, so I'll probably just take that crap off. That's garbage. This looks kind of gross, but that's okay. And they give you a nice little warning on how to clean and maintain it. So hopefully today I'll get this uh, mounted on the old bike. Well, we got the old bike in the old shop now. Got all the mounting hardware for the new screen. And some pretty good directive, I guess, sort of. Uh, I took this one off. This is what I had on earlier. Oh, Donya. Uh, this is what I had on earlier. This little fly screen. The good people at National Cycle, I think. Anyway, that's okay. Here's the new one. Look at the difference. It's huge! Anyway, we're gonna see if we can mount this up. And just quickly unbox the kit. These go around the forks. Looks like they're pretty much good for a number of sizes of forks, so... Also, rubber lines doesn't corrode. And on the bars, I can use, uh... Well, I obviously have one-inch bars, but... They offer these rubber spacers... to go around if you have smaller bars, which most people don't. And other stuff, too. Here it is, loosely situated in place. Thanks, Tony, for your help. Um, yeah, it looks like garbage now. Actually, this whole thing doesn't look that great, in my opinion. I don't know if I'd buy another one. But anyway, it's got to go up a little higher. It's kind of ch it's kind of chet right now. Oh, what do you think of the stripies on there? I'm not so sure about that. It's chintzy. I don't know. We don't know what we're doing. Let's see what happens. I've got it mounted on the top bar using these little brackets and stuff. Let me get it mounted in the bottom with those, with these bits right here. Then we'll see what happens. Well, we got it all situated now. It's in place. Um, there's like a million different adjustments to move this left, right, up, down. Including a setting to put it on the floor, which I managed to do. I put it right there. Dropped it. Tiny scratch. I won't show you where it is. It's right there. Um, we won't worry about that. So yeah, I definitely... Uh, the other day I adjusted my handlebars up a little bit. I had to bring them back down, else tilted my reservoir forward and mirror forward. Oh, look, there's me. So that this doesn't hit here. Um, yeah, a million adjustments. There's a lot of protection. You can see how much is here. I've got big hands and I cannot reach across here. Um, so that's the width of my hand. That's the width that goes there. So you can imagine the width of your tank versus um, I'm going to take her down the road and we'll see. It's going to obstruct my GoPro view though. Yikes. Another nice little feature. Well, actually, one, th one thing first of all, I might get rid of this rubber trim here. This rubber doesn't do a whole lot. I think it takes away from stuff. But uh, one thing I noticed is my Ro Joe Rocket helmet matches rather well with the, uh, the trim on the side and the bike. All fits nicely together, so I'm kind of excited to take her down the road and see uh, yeah, she goes. It's huge, though. Huge. How long till it falls off? I didn't use Loctite in any of the screws. Post your comments below on how many weeks it's going to take for this thing to fall off. Thanks for watching.